Gordon floated lazily through space. He had decided that the aliens were going to be the most disturbing thing in the trash world. He was not dead because he did not need oxygen to breath because Gordon was a very messianic man. That was when he discreetly started mounting an ammo crate and stared around at least twice. Freeman saw a portal. Freeman saw a portal. Po the, eh, eh. Freeman saw a portal. It was a series of several energy balls careening through space. Gordon withdrew his crowbar and wandered to the portals. With a flash of scary branching physics lights, Gordon found himself in the middle of the middle of the woman. He had teleported into the middle of a oozing person. Freeman felt reinvigorated. Stepping out of the body, Gordon continues right ahead with the essentials of fighting equals headcrabs. He was thinking he must be back in the Citadel because Breen Corpse was in the middle of the floor room, dead, and Alex tries to explode another universe with him. Alex waved at Gordon Freeman himself to come conveyor to her, so he did stairs. We need to make Breen shut up and blow again! Screamed Alex into Gordon's magic magnet gun. Gordon nodded. He found a manhack grenade and threw it at Dr. Breen. The explosion device. Boom! Dog had become a large cement antlion robot to punish and protect them from themselves. He carried them away from the explosion and threw them through a window. Alex cried because she might finally get extraction from the city because there was a train. Barney was there because he had raided beer from the sentient watermelons of war. He was glad very. The resistance was also there because they were lame. People stretched into the train. Gordon saw there was no space on the train now, and that made him get extremely calm because he was a psychopath. His crowbar spits with intensity as civvies fall out of the doorstep of several protection doors to avoid Freeman wrath. He grabbed Alex because she was taking too long and slapped her onto the train. Barney decided he wanted to rescue Doc, but Kleiner was working so he did not disturb him. Now he enters Freeman's fantastic training train to not be evil and disappear. The three of them start off down the tracks while the Citadel yells at them. I guess we really have disposed something, warned Alex. Then Dog came crashing through the train because he was hoping to make another friend. The train went downstairs as people almost died because trains don't listen. Gordon thought he might get more brain damage now because he hits head on head crabs across the car carefully. Then he went blind. So I don't usually do voiceovers like this, but this was way too cool not to share. Papa Schlepp, the guy who designed our logo, got a tour at Valve recently, and he wore the Deadwater logo hoodie while he was there. I don't know why, but that just made me really happy. Seeing our logo in their headquarters was really freaking cool.